So, at my school, there was a talent show. This happens every year, and there was quite a bit of acts this year. One act, the kids brought out chairs, microphones, and each kid, two of them, brought out a guitar. They both sat down, and them and the staff tampered with the microphones, testing them until they worked. Finally, with everything working, they waited until everyone was quiet and... said, thank you for your time, and just left. It was my favourite act. Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to r slash mad lads, where some lads are pretty mad. Dad, could you send me a picture of your signature? I need to forge it to go to the lightning carnival. Okay, I've sent it to your email. It doesn't really need to be a very good copy, as I don't think school will have it on record. I really want to know what a lightning carnival is, that sounds pretty cool. Try not to upvote challenge, harder. Uh, down vote. Hey, at least he tried. This man flew to Japan to sing ABBA in a big cold river. I've actually seen this, and if you haven't seen this, I promise you it's worth your time. At the end of this video, go on to this video, it's good. The Reddit team must think they're slick. Trending on r slash mildly infuriating. The official Reddit app just sent me a notification that a random post was trending. This is how your app gets uninstalled. This guy right here is extra mad because his phone is at 6%. He doesn't even care that it's at 6%. He doesn't need to charge it. Passing joggers on my motorized treadmill. <laughs> this guy right here, Ross Creations, is a certified alpha male. Go watch him as well. He's, he's so funny. At quite interesting. Until 1979, Sweden classified homosexuality as a mental illness. That year, activists took the classification as an illness to its logical extent. Swedes called in too gay to go to work. <laughs> People literally took gay days off. That's just too perfect. I work in an operating room and we had a face painter come into work. This is what patients see as they are coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you wake up in the operating room, I, I promise you will probably have bigger concerns. At Ian Cole, he used Snapchat's gender switch filter to pose as a 16-year-old girl online and take down a police officer allegedly looking to hook up. He tipped off the police department and the officer was arrested. Our exclusive interview with the man and why he did it at 11 at NBC Bay Area. Modern problems require modern solutions. There you go. Marketing in 2019. Girl, you promise you won't tell anybody? Yeah, I promise. Pinky promise? Yeah, I swear. 64 million views. This is a comment from official underscore McDonald's. Looks like he didn't keep his promise, unlike the McDonald's team, which keeps their promises like the promise of using 100% grass-fed all-beef patties in our delicious burgers, like the all-new Big Mac lineup, featuring the Mac Jr. for those with big eyes but small stomachs. The Big Mac with bacon for classic Big Mac lovers wanting a little extra. And the Grand Mac for those... Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> I know it's probably a meme account, but I'm just finding it really funny at someone at like the McDonald's corporate on this video typing in this advertisement and <laughs> it actually being them. I connected five PCs to one mouse and keyboard and played as the entire team in ranked. <laughs> at least he can't get stuck with terrible teammates now. My little brother snuck into picture day at different schools so he could be in their yearbooks. Absolute mad lad. I'm really out here in three different yearbooks. This will be so worth it in like 30 years when everybody's looking back at their yearbooks and he has three of them to pull out. Help me go to art school so I don't end up like Hitler. Only $30 from one person in eight months? Oh, all I'm saying is I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this guy. I drew Doofenshmirtz but I forgot his nose since I drew his eyes too low. Ah, it's, it's another actor ruined by drugs. It's disappointing, isn't it? 
In Scotland, a group of students went to a modern arts gallery and left a pineapple in an empty exhibit to see if people would think it was art. When they returned four days later, not only was the pineapple still there, it had been covered with a glass case. <laughs> this is the house that Spongebob moved to once the show ended and all his checks came through. <laughs> had a ticket for a train leaving at 10.13. Got on a train leaving 9.13 instead. I've bamboozled the entire system. Oh my goodness, the 10.13 train is going to have to send out a search party. Gah. I collect rocks, paint eyes on them, and return them to the landscape to be found or lost forever. <laughs> Archaeologists in like a hundred years are going to be so confused. So, I lost an 8th grade presidential election five years ago, and my friend just found the guy who beat me on Tinder. UD22, Computer Science and Linguistics, still proud of the time I became class president just to beat someone who I found mildly annoying. Get wrecked, Megan. She's, she's got to swipe right on him and then unmatch him to assert dominance. <laughs> it's Ross Creations again. Paying for people's food, then taking it because it's mine. <laughs> it's just got the best ideas. This guy, you have to watch him. The world's first mobile phone call was made on April the 3rd, 1973, when Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola, created a rival telecommunications company and informed them that he was spoken via a mobile phone. Oh, this guy's a chad lad, not even a mad lad. My tweet, someone quoting my tweet with LMFAO. Ha, <laughs> LMFAO. Who would do that? Ah, it would steal someone else's joke. There is an island which is disputed territory between Canada and Denmark. The militaries of both countries periodically visit to remove the other guy's flag and leave a bottle of Danish schnapps or Canadian whiskey. This is what happens when nice countries fight. They should build a bar on the island or something similar because what else is even there? You may as well get a bar if you're only going to be drinking. Replying to Wendy's You know, Burger King also has spicy chicken nuggets. Yeah. And there's also water in the bottom of the dumpster out back, if you're thirsty. <laughs> oh, look at the replies as well. 69 comments. <laughs> R slash confession. I sometimes say in comments on YouTube, sorry for the bad spellings, English isn't my first language. When in fact it is, and I'm just bad at spelling. <laughs> that's, a, that's an outstanding move right there. At Marvel Studios. Spider-Man, Homecoming. Spider-Man, Far From Home. Ideas of the next one? At Tom Holland, Spider-Man, Homeless? Well, that's where he's gonna be, homeless, if he keeps spoiling all the Marvel films. Come on, Tom. Hey, folks. Join my new P-E-N-I-S foundation. People encouraging niceness in society. P-E-I-N-S. It's not hard unless you make it that way. That is the best slogan I've ever seen. God, perfectly put together. Sup? Wanna f That ever worked for you? First time I've said it, to be honest. Maybe try again then. Haha. <laughs> Sup? Wanna f I laugh. Then he links them to the r slash Tinder. I actually read this post out. I just got 37,000 upvotes on Reddit. Now will you f me? Haha. <laughs> f Where you live? This is the first time I've ever seen anyone use Reddit to get laid. Like, is that even possible? The mall starts to flood, so the band plays the Titanic theme song. <laughs> Something tells me the cleaners probably didn't love this one. My mama asked where I was taking her out to eat for Mother's Day, and I told her, we got food at the house. My brother, to his online friends. I gotta go, my pizza is here. One of his online friends. Where's my pizza? Everyone, ha ha ha. My brother logs out of chat. Me, you know, you could order them pizza. What? You know his address. We live in Canada, they are in the States. So, you could order it online and pay with a credit card. How the frick did you get me a pizza from Canada? Oh, I'm going to show my address on screen right now in case any of you guys want to 
pull that hilarious prank on me too. D double pepperoni, no green peppers. Cheers. Drove my son to the ER after school once because he decided to establish dominance as a freshman by eating an entire pineapple without peeling it. When I asked my brother to talk him out of it, he just high-fived him. I think about that moment a lot when I don't understand men. Bro, he ate an entire pineapple? That, that sort of power cannot be harnessed. Me and the boys, after we vandalize your wall. Well, it's better than a gang sign. Hey everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the episode of r slash mad lads. Those were some pretty mad lads if I do say so myself. But if you want to check out more videos like this, then click on screen right now. If you want to check out my social media stuff on my Discord, then click in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.